Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Gaming Overwatch. My name is Chris, and we are going to be getting spooked with Soma. It's a bit of an older game. Um, I mean, it's not brand new, but it's from the same makers as Amnesia The Dark Descent, and they make good horror shit, so I want to play it. And it was on sale recently, so without much further ado, let's get spooky. Already tweaked the graphics settings. Should be okay now. And if it's not, there will be a retake. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? <laughs> <laughs> Not how I imagined this starting. Okay. Just shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so I had brain injury. Apparently they didn't let me stay at the hospital. Uh, okay, tweak my mouse settings just a little bit. That's already way better. <laughs> Smooth mouse can go fuck itself. Okay. Where did I put the tracer? Okay, now it has the it has the same um it has the same base oh, it has this it has the same base um controls as um as, as Amnesia did with the uh, scrolling. I'm just gonna put my sunglasses back in my drawer. Is that a flip knife? Pen. Okay. Ah, uh, this. What's that? This looks like a nice um, horror story. Mark and Diana Miller has finally caught up. Has? I don't think that sentence is correct. Mark and Diana Miller has finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take to to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over Waikiki Beach that first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare as the swimmers are caught in the. Th Thousands of thin strings stretching from somewhere below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled, screaming into the dark water, desperate to get out of harm's way. Their seven-year-old son, Charlie, is caught by the vicious tendrils. Suspenseful, mystical, and absolutely terrifying hooked will pull you in. Actually, that's kind of a bad... That's kind of a bad text to put on the back of your book. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? Hey, Simon. I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Get my brain brain scan. Just Blah. shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. Oh. That is. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? He's he's sweet. Give him a break. What's this? Ah, uh, lasagna. Hang <laughs> <laughs> <I got> on. <laughs> Uh, 
La 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 la. No, come on. Slam it closed. Eh. Eh. Uh, uh, okay, never mind. I wanted to warm something up. Oh no, let's not let's not break my glasses. I want to treat this guy's house with respect, okay? Also, I want to find everything there is to find, because it's me. But the fast food. I should find something healthier in my way home. Though you know, takeout pizza called the next day is, is always pretty nice. And a light in your apartment is also pretty nice. What's this? To Simon Jarrett. That's it. Um, my name is Simon, then. That's cool. Okay, I guess that's too thick. <laughs> the glass is too thick to... Uh... This is a camera from the brand DSLR. As a camera salesman, this hurts a little. Not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, I hate that that's what I identify myself as. I'm a vivid Instagrammer, apparently. Ooh! That requires a decent f-stop to do. <coughs> Let's not get into technicalities. What does it say? Okay, it's apparently me doodling. Get well soon, love, mum. Ah. That's cute. Okay, I'm a bit of a nerd. I like this guy. Let's turn the light on in my room. What's this? Mapping Minds by Albert Isaacson. The fuck was that sound? Widely praised as one of the most comprehensive yet accessible texts about the anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. Find out how your brain is dependent on its body. Why the brain is simply not a computer and a multitude of other interesting facts that will make your head spin. This edition also includes two new chapters about the development of the brain and how it affects our behavior in different stages of our lives. Interesting. He's gotten an interest of... Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. This is not how I imagined this game starting, by the way. But it's good to have a... Um, to have a light open. That's... Don't need this light. I think there might be tracer fluid in... <laughs> I did a thing. Great. Tracer fluid should be in the bathroom. Or shaving cream. Who needs to brush their teeth? It's for losers. I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. Okay, but I do need to drink that tracer fluid. And as of yet, I have not found it. Also guessing something will happen on my way that it will. There it, uh, there it is. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Yeah. What's this? Downtown accidents kills young woman. Accident. Toronto. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Blow Street and Spadina Road. This is what happened to him. The mother and her children, traveling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. 
As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, there was a woman sitting next to me, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs. She died. Fuck. Before the ambulance arrived, her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, survived with complicated results, believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. Ooh, that'll make you resent a woman. Japanimation! Bigger than ever. Stunts. <laughs> well, this is oddly relevant. Oh, hey! This is how you read stuff that's on there, so... Nope, doesn't say it. Yeah, I know. What's the below there? Commonwealth. Okay. This is all just flavor. <coughs> flavor items. I've got even a couple of more lenses in there. Why would I keep most of my lenses here and then some there? I'm a messy person. Is that, uh... Is that her? Uh, Ashley. That must be Ashley. That's my doctor. That's the author of the horror book, Hooked. This is just a picture. And this is my computer, let's see. Inbox. Neurograph session. <coughs> Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Pace Laboratories in Toronto. So, yeah. Since we are uh, guests, uh, our access is a bit, bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. So that's what happened. Dear Mr. Jarrett, <coughs> I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prezozin to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I will see you next week. Oh yeah, stress might be horrible for that. Okay, this is... Oh, I forgot to hit send. Oh, that sucks. Hi, Jesse. Since you probably forgot, the, here's me reminding you that I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, i.e. I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store, and please unpack the boxes behind the counter and starting. They're starting to become workplace hazard. <laughs> also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on shelves where people are able to actually see them. Good luck. You'll need it, Simon. Send. <laughs> Better late than never. Yeah, although that's a little douchey to expect someone to react to that then. Okay. Also, who keeps their laptop open like this when you're going away from home? Uh, yeah, my, my room should definitely get some sunlight. That should be good for my room. When I'm leaving, I didn't leave the bathroom light on, did I? No. So that's cool. All the other lights in my house are off. I'm treating this realistically, okay? <clears throat> because I can. Nothing works anymore, I tell you. Okay. I don't want to be sitting next to this person. It's all a lie. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your lie. email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the good store guy. after this game. Don't sweat it. I got Matt. Chris, help me out. Matt, Chris. I'm messing out? Uh, Jesse is here. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, yeah. She did okay. die. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. It's well, a bit uh, harsh. <coughs> you know, dying thing. 
dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over now, buddy. I hope they had some time to grief, at least. Well, they seem to be getting over it. All a big setup. Pretty easily. <clears throat> That's bizarre. <laughs> this is the doctor's office. Oh. Hello? Dr. Munchie? M Munchie? Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. <sighs> Let's at least open up these curtains. Oh, look at that. Oh, Canada. <clears throat> Honestly, I do want to go to Canada someday. Seems like a very nice um, country. That's rather ominous. Omin ominous. Am I going to be that guy? It is a horror game, so check all the terminals. I thought it was a sci-fi horror game. Let's see. Munchie, Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jerry. Let's do this. Saw your laptop in the reception. Are you ready there? Call me ASAP. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I have managed to book this kind of for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. Would allow us to use their computers to run models, and also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. I mean, I'm very interesting. Um, we're locked out. The 30th of April. And it's the 2nd of May. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, somebody told us about the code change, so I called security, talked to Professor Wei to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some Han show over at Pace's legal department that could regrant his permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails over text, but I'll leave a note on s or something in case we forget. Okay, the codes. Scan now. Where are you? Got a few hours. So he's been here today and he supposedly he should have left a note projected moment of tweak for right length okay I don't know what that means Put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. <laughs> the brain has an amazing transformative quality. A plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself, explains Paul Berg, a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto. It's this quality that Berg and his colleague David Munchie, the student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing, and we hope to accomplish this with the simple things like exercise, therapy and light medication. I think I changed his accent there. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing. Oh, that's a quote again. But Munchie and Berg are not looking for a miraculous panacea. It's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. They start out recording something called a Nak Nakajima neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction, says Munchie. Instead of a static brain scan, the neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. Huh. That's not useful at all. What else is there? Oh, I'm gonna need to find a code then. So he left a note. That note should then be this note. Because I saw numbers on there, but... 2501? 2501. 
One. Okay. I uh, hate horrible handwriting. Okay. I don't know what I'll be running from. Or should be running from. James G. Okay. I don't need a fire hose. Friday, Wednesday, Steve, all day, lab comments. One sec, one sec. He should have seen me actually, but I'm a little bit interested in finding this out before I start any scripted sequence. This is a server room. Oh, I imagine for the... I imagine for... I'm sorry, I keep checking. I think he might open up the door and come come see me. Because, you know, that's what a real person would do. Don't know what that is. This computer is obviously doing a lot. Scan calculation in progress. Does that mean they are scanning someone now? I get a feeling these docks aren't as, um... I don't know. Let's just, let's just see what happens. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Muchy? Well, uh, it's uh, just Mr. Muchy, but I'm working on it. Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Bird. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Okay. Does he have media player open? Oh, no. Let's see about everything in this room. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> I, yeah, no. <laughs> I actually want this to uh, to have some you effect. You have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal. Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. If you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. That is that is something that if you had a couple of months left to live at best, you'd take that chance. So yeah, let's sit down and um, do the super sketch. Oh, fuck. All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Yes. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version six. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, <laughs> let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. That seemed like it hurt a lot more. 
than just having your picture taken. What happened? Hello? Mr. Munchie? Oh, this is fucked up. Did something go wrong? Well, this isn't funny. Let's get up. Let's end the episode. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in stress. I know. All right. Um, this is kind of stressing me out. <laughs> I know. Let me just finish the fucking episode. So let's see what happened. Hey, anyone? <laughs> let's see what happens in the next episode. Um, if you like this video, please click the subscribe button, uh, click the like button and subscribe for more gaming goodness. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. And remember guys, stay watchful. Break it down.